everybody, welcome back to my channel and also welcome to day one of my 2019 no buy year. Uh, I was inspired this past year. I recently, like in the last quarter, I think of this last year, I recently discovered a YouTuber by the name of Hannah Louise Poston. I think she said how you pronounce her last name, Poston or Poston. I think it's Poston though. I, I will leave her a link down below in the description box, but she had done a no buy year over the course of 2018, um, where she only bought replacement items for the whole year. She didn't go out and purchase any new products unless she had run out of everything in her stash. And now, if you remember, I actually did a six month um, no buy a couple of years ago and I actually failed at the five month mark. Um, it was really disappointing to me. I really didn't feel like I accomplished what I wanted to and like listening to her and watching her videos, her videos are, are quite long, but they're so informative about how she managed to change her habits made me want to try a year long project because she had said that six months was kind of where she started to change her mindset. And that's kind of the way I want to do it. So I decided to take inspiration from her uh, and start my own no buy year. And 2019 is going to be that year. I'm starting filming this on January 1st and this no buy year will end on December 31st. What I want to do in this video is kind of introduce the project itself as well as kind of discuss why I'm doing it, how I'm going to do it, and how I'm going to share my experience with you. So without further ado, let's get into why I'm doing this. First of all, I'm doing this because I recently discovered that my lip collection has become quite overwhelming for me to kind of wade through when I'm looking for what lipstick I want to wear in the morning. And that inspired a couple months ago doing my lipstick monthly where I'm using six products maximum every month uh, for my lips just to kind of use up my collection and kind of determine, you know, what I do like and what I don't like. Inevitably lead up to uh, declutter, hopefully when I'm done using everything and all my reviews are in on what I do enjoy. So that type of a thing kind of made me realize that I'm kind of overwhelmed in all aspects of the beauty realm. I'm overwhelmed by my fashion, I'm overwhelmed by my skincare, I'm overwhelmed by hair care, body care, everything like that. I just have too much stuff and I want to go through it. So in addition to the no buy year about not buying any more new beauty products or fashion items, I'm actually going to see about trying to do a reverse rouge. And this is inspired by what LS kind of started to do where she did a project pen she called reverse rouge, where instead of buying a thousand dollars worth of beauty products at Sephora to reach root, she wanted to use up a thousand dollars worth of beauty products to kind of negative, like put her spending into the negative. And that's kind of what I want to do this year is through my empties, through products I'm using, through everything like that, I do want to use up a thousand dollars worth of products across beauty, skin, uh, makeup, skincare, hair care, and body care. I'm not going to do it with fashion because fashion is a bit you can't use it up. So I'm not going to do it with fashion, but I'm going to definitely do it with all the beauty products that I have. So this is the reason why I'm pursuing this this year. It is starting today. I have done a bit of shopping. There will be one haul coming towards the end of this month because I did do some Boxing Day shopping just to kind of make sure that I can get as far along in the year without purchasing anything uh, as I can. Moving on into my uh, rules, my rules this year are very similar to Hannah's rules that she has set up for herself. I'm only going to be purchasing replacements, no makeup whatsoever because makeup, I have way more than a year's worth of makeup in my stash. So makeup is nothing, skincare is replacements only. Um, my rules for skincare is when I start the last product because I order from Korea, it takes about three weeks to four weeks to get here. So when I start the last item in the uh, skincare category, I'm going to order a new one. So hopefully I can order a few at a time just to make it worth it for the four week wait. Uh, but that's what I'm going to do. Instead of waiting till I'm actually out of the product, I'm actually going to order a backup, but not really. It's a replacement when I start the last one to make sure that replacement is here prior to me running out and having to wait a month for it. So with that all laid out, uh, no purchasing of makeup whatsoever because I have too much of it. Hair cares, 
Hair care and body care is gonna be the same, not the same, but I'm gonna wait till I'm completely out of something before I go out and purchase it. There's enough stores here that I can go out and buy it when I run out of it. It's no big deal. Fashion wise, I'm just not gonna buy anything. I have enough stuff to last me at least a week, if not two or three when it comes to outfits. So that's not gonna happen at all. Moving on into how I'm going to do this. What I'm going to do is at the end of every month, like I did in my six month no buy, I'm gonna provide you an update into how well I'm doing, what I've used up, and I'm gonna incorporate that, not necessarily, there's gonna be two videos at the end of the month. There's gonna be monthly empties. I'm switching up my empties to be monthly rather than every whenever my bucket is full because I do want to calculate every month how much I'm actually using and I'm going to put in the value of how much I used in that month and what products I used up so if I use up two trial size primers I will put in two primers used up in January or whatever for minis if they're deluxe size I'm actually going to calculate the amount of product in them because they're a little bit easier to find out for foil packets I'm just gonna assign uh, a one dollar value to them because some foil packets I have are more than a dollar and some of them are less so a dollar seems to be a good average amount of what a foil packet would cost so I'm gonna go with a dollar for foil packets for the deluxe size samples I'm gonna go in with the um, calculation on how much product is in there versus the full size and how much full size costs so there will be a calculation on that for anything that I've purchased online that is clearanced out and it is, does not exist anymore, I'm gonna go based on a comparable product from the same level of brand. So if it's a road shop brand and they discontinue the product I've used, I will go with another road shop brand with a very similar product and make that the retail value of it. And for anything that is K-Beauty related, because K-Beauty is on sale so much on the websites I shop from, I'm, what I should actually do rules wise is that I'm gonna go based on what the sale price is at the end of the month when I'm doing my empties to calculate towards the end of the year. Uh, I do feel like this is gonna be a trend this year. Um, I've already seen numerous people posting about starting no buys and you know creating no buy years because they're feeling very overwhelmed with the makeup releases. And I'm gonna be honest, I have too. Makeup companies are releasing things every day and it's nuts. It's just too much stuff coming out. I was seeing stuff for spring 2019 before Christmas and that's just nuts. <laughs> and I feel like this year everyone is kind of getting overwhelmed, getting exhausted with it and just ready to stop. So with that being said, another rule that I have is I will still be applying for PR. There's contests on some of the K-Beauty websites where you can sign up with your address and they randomly choose people to send product to for review. So I will not, I will continue doing that. I will receive gifts. I have no problem receiving gifts from people, be it from family or friends. So I will be accepting gifts and for gift cards, I'm on the fence with gift cards about whether I want to use it to purchase replacement items only, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until I receive a gift card because I don't get beauty gift cards very often. I'm going to wait to receive that prior to deciding what I want to do because if I don't receive any gift cards then I'm not going to I'm not going to worry about it. There's no reason to. So, I'm going to wait till I receive one and then we'll decide. So with that being said, that's my introduction. It was a little bit all over the place, uh, but to recap what I've said this whole time is that I'm doing a no buy year and a reverse rouge project pan where I want to spend a thousand dollars. I want to use up a thousand dollars worth of beauty products. This does not include Tyler's. Um, I'm leaving Tyler's out of this because he's very slow in using up his products anyways, and I never use them in my empties regardless. So this is just me individually using up these products. I also, my rules are that I will not spend any money whatsoever on makeup. I will not, I will only buy replacements when I'm on the last product in a skincare category. Uh, and for body care and hair care, I will wait till I completely out before I go out and purchase another product. I will be accepting gifts. I will be applying for PR and accepting PR from a uh, websites such as Influencer, K-Beauty websites that offer applications for them and they uh, randomly select contest winners to send products to. And there will be one haul in January from my Boxing Day shopping. 
So I believe that's all the recap here. Uh, I really want to create a community around this. I'm feeling that this is the year that I'm hopefully going to break the habit of shopping and why I need to stop and really realize why I was shopping in the first place versus just blindly shopping. So uh, if you ha are starting on a no buy year or a no buy month or a no buy week, let us know in the comment section down below. And if you're starting on a no buy this year at any point during the year, give me a big thumbs up. And if you wanna see more content from me or follow along with my no buy year, leave me a, well, hit that little red subscribe button down below. And when you wanna be notified when I post new videos, don't forget to hit the little bell next to it. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye.